The wiser I become, the more I begin to thank God for the doors he closed and the people he exposed. I need everybody to share this video right now and shout out to the WTC family all over the world. We the chosen ones, baby. Mr. Unlimited is back. What's up, y'all? The wiser I become, the more I begin to thank God for the doors he closed and these Decepticons that he exposed. Some people that were in your life, you thought they were angels. Some people that you had in your life, you thought they were your best friend. Some people you had in your life, you thought they was your road dog. But the more wiser you become, the more you begin to step into your calling, the more you begin to step into your vision. Guess what? God reveals everybody that was against you. God reveals everybody that turned their back on you. God will reveal and expose people that is no good for you. You owe God everything. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say, I owe God everything. Think about the doors that were closed in your face. That door that was closed in your face, guess what happened? You went away. And then God opened up a bigger door. You went to that same door, but next to that door was an even bigger door, a bigger opportunity. And you just walked right on in. You've been faithful over a few things and God made you rule over many. And ever since God made you rule over many, guess what? You starting to see all these true colors in the Decepticons. You rule over many. You see people's negative energy. You feel people's negative vibes now. At first, you wasn't really caught on that like that. Let's keep it real. We have been chosen since birth, chosen ones. We've been chosen since birth. But let's be honest, man. We didn't really know who we really were 10 years ago, 15 years ago. We knew that we were chosen, right? We knew that we were this special person that God sent on this earth to the universe. But we didn't really know who we really are in Christ like that. We wasn't really woke like that. God had to really make you wiser. God had to take you through some storms, man. God had to take you through the rain. God had to break you down. I need everybody to put in the comments below and say, Lord, I thank you for the breakdown. Lord, I thank you for the beating. Lord, I thank you for the chastisement of my peace. Lord, I thank you for loving me. Thank you for the upset. Thank you for the setback. Thank you for the betrayal because it made me wiser. Don't be afraid to put that in the comment below and say, Lord, I thank you for the betrayal because the betrayal made me wiser. Lord, I thank you for the setback because the setback pushed me further. Lord, I thank you for the lies that were used against me. Because guess what, Lord? You opened my eyes to the truth. Don't be afraid to tell the Lord thank you. Come on. Don't be afraid to lift up your holy hands. If you're in your living room, if you're watching me on your TV screen, don't be afraid to lift up your holy hands and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I give you the glory. Lord, I give you the praise. And if it had not been for you who was on my side, where would I be? You have to understand who God is creating you to be doing all these trials and tribulations. Yes, it hurts. Yes, you're crying every night. Yes, you're on your bending knees praying and asking God for a breakthrough. Yes, you're looking for a miracle. But you have to understand that God has to really pull you away. God has to really break you down in order for you to get your crown. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say, God had to break me down in order for me to get my crown. So stop beating yourself up because of the trials and tribulations that we face on a daily basis. Because guess what? It makes us wiser. Thank God for the doors that were closed in your face. Thank God for the people he exposed in your life. 
Because God, if God had never exposed these Decepticons or these people in your life that were no good for you, you would be still in the same situation as you were back then 10 years ago. Ever since God started removing people out of your life, why all of a sudden you start leveling up now? Hmm. Wow. Now all of a sudden God had took this person. He didn't take your family. He didn't take your, your so-called friends away from you. Hmm. Ooh, that woman that you thought that was going to be your next queen. He didn't took that away from you. Hmm. People on, on her side of the family, ooh, they all was going against you. Hmm. Now all of a sudden God took these people out of my life. Now all of a sudden I level up. Now all of a sudden I got the WTC gang on my side. Now all of a sudden I came back leading the pack. They threw my ass to the wolves, chosen ones. I'm keeping the straight facts. Motherfuckers that I was talking to on a daily basis. Motherfuckers that I was showing love to on a daily fucking basis. These motherfuckers threw me to the wolves and told the wolves to fucking eat me. Just like they threw Daniel Wiles in the lion's den and pretty much told the lions to eat his ass. But one thing about being chosen, we cannot be touched. Ha! Glory to God. I need every chosen one to put that in the comments below and say we cannot be touched. We cannot be biting. We cannot be bitten. We cannot be, you know what I'm saying, torn or ripped apart. Because if God is for us, who can be against us? Yes, they sent you to the wolves, but you came back leading the back. Yes, that door was closed in your face. But God is getting ready to open a bigger door for you. And when God opened that bigger door for you, now you're going to be starting closing doors on people who close doors on you. When God exposed people to you and exposed to you who they really are, believe God. Don't go against God. No, it can't be my family, y'all. It can't be my friend. It can't be my cousin. Shit. You better open up your eyes and see. God would expose people through a handshake. God would expose people through a hug. God would expose people through speech. You ain't got to say some, something to everybody you see. Just be humble and watch God reveal these snakes to you. Care how much skin a snake shed. A snake is still a fucking snake. And come to realize, this is crazy. There's one person that lied on my name. This one motherfucker that said all kind of shit about me. Let me tell you something about this weird motherfucker. This motherfucker really owned a snake. Now that you look at it. Now now I started to realize every time we was hanging out, it was light and dark. I was the light and he was the dark. It's like night and day. I was daytime, he was night. And now I see... Why motherfuckers was lying on my name like that? Why motherfuckers was going against me? Why motherfuckers was talking about me like a dog, but they'll smile when it was in my face and act like they was my best friend? Now I see why. You conniving son of a... Lord, help me today. If I hold my peace and let the Lord fight my, fight my battles, victory shall be mine. Lord, thank you, Holy Spirit, for keeping my tongue right now. But what I come to realize is the person that said all these lies about my name, guess what? They owned a snake. <laughs> Y'all better pay attention to the signs. Anybody that owns a snake, you better be very fucking careful. Why do you think they say, when you go around, they're starting to say that the pet looks like the owner. You see a dog, the dog looks just like the owner. 
You see the dog all rough, rough and, and, and ready to bite you and, and take your fucking head off. The owner the same motherfucking way. So if you see a motherfucking snake, motherfucking can around a snake. then you know, I don't like snakes. They sneaky. They'll bite your ass. And you won't even know they bit you. Then you got to go to the hospital. They got to treat you for the bite. Didn't even know how bad the bite going to be. Depending on what snake bit you. I don't want to own no snake. I don't want to own nothing that's that I know that can attack me. I'll be in jail killing a snake. I flush your ass down the toilet fast as the wind blow. But I realized this fool owned the snake. That should have let me know right there. This nigga ain't wrapped too tight like that. This motherfucker owned a snake. God was revealing shit to me and I wouldn't even pay attention. Then when this fool had a, a, a bulldog, this motherfucking bulldog will walk in the house and literally with damn near, if you let him, the motherfucker will bite your fucking head off. Because the, the bulldog is a reflection of the, of the owner. That's why I don't trust people and they pets. Because people are evil, so just imagine they pet. If a bear can fucking kill you, if a fucking lion can kill you, what you think a person to do? A person will fucking kill you. It's some evil motherfuckers out here. So thank God for the doors he closed and the people he exposed. God saved your life. God wasn't going to let you go out like that. Because God got a plan for you. God got a vision for you. I need every child to want to put that in the comments below and say, God got a plan for me. God got a vision for me. We living in our last and evil days. Thank God that he exposed these snakes out here. They snakes. And get somewhere and give God praise. Because if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, you wouldn't be here today. Excuse me. And we thank him for all his many blessings that he has bestowed upon us. We thank him and we give him praise. So walk into that door that God has opened for you and close that door right in the same of the face that the same people. And close that door right in, in, in front of the people that closed that door in front of you. Walk into that bigger door of opportunity. Walk into that bigger door of abundance. Walk into that bigger door of prosperity. And when you see somebody that's trying to walk into that same door that you walk in, close the door in their face because they did the same thing they did to you when you didn't even have a pot to piss in. And don't ever forget if you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. And if you need motivation and if you need inspiration, you already know you got the best motivational speaker in the whole wide world in your boy. We the chosen ones. You owe God everything. Now give him what is due to him. Be blessed.